So um, I'm here today with uh, Frank uh, Troiano. Um, I'm very excited about this, Frank. We spoke a few weeks ago. Just a really brief introduction from me about you. Spent 10 years in the military in special operations and then transitioned into a sales role in medical devices. So I'm really keen to um, you know, understand your background and how that sort of transitioned into your current role. First question really is, is, is really around that sort of transition from military into a sales role. And as we sort of discussed last time, I think that your um, sort of approach to this is equally valid to people who are currently in the military looking at a role, you know, in, in the commercial world. But I think it's equally valid for those of, those of us who are simply looking to transition into a new role. So in terms of that transition, what was your kind of preparation from special operations into sales into medical devices? Yeah, great question. So, uh, you know, any anytime you're in any job, really, I feel like in, in special operations, obviously being part of it, you have to be trained and, and capable and ready to take on the challenges that are going to come with that job. So, yeah. you know, as I was transitioning from the military, you know, I knew there was a lot of things that were going to come with it that, you know, I wasn't trained for, whether it be, you know, kind of the civilian corporate jargon that comes with business, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just the general skill sets and knowledge sets. So really kind of the first thing I wanted to tackle was that knowledge set. Uh, so I really, I took a, a, a kind of college or school approach to learning it. So I was reading a whole bunch of sales books, reading a whole mm -hmm. bunch of business books, which I still continue to this day. You know, we have that mm -hmm. fantastic ability as humans to continually learn. So, yeah. you know, kind of self-learning um, style. I was just reading a whole bunch of books. And then secondly, I was really trying to leverage my my friends and my network that I had that was yeah. in the private sector already. So calling them up, you know, hey, how do I write a resume? What are the kind of the, the bullet points or formats, you know, <laughs> verbiage, what have you to write a resume, you know, interview tips, what do they look for? How should I be, you know, how should I present myself? Again, yeah. what are some of the key points and things that I need to to talk about? So really kind of leveraging that as well. And then a lot of practice. So whether it be with that same uh, you know, network, practicing yeah. my interviewing, practicing my uh, you know, resume writing, practicing even like business sets, whether it be like accounting or finance or something like that, mm -hmm. going through practice problems. Uh, and sometimes I was using third party programs for that as well. But okay. just uh, you know, a whole lot of learning and and practicing and and leveraging that network to to prepare. Good stuff, excellent. And in terms of you know your your career in the special special forces, what specifically did you learn during that time that you still apply, you know, in the role that you're in today? Yeah, so. I think there's there's a lot of commendable uh, you know internal drivers that you know a lot of special operations have and and people in the military in general, um, but one that I think is particularly key to special operations and what I took it or what I took from there and took it to uh, you know the private side was kind of that never quit mentality. Mm -hmm. uh, you know whether you're you're knocked down, you hit rejection, you you know fail at something. It's that getting mm -hmm. pulling yourself back up you know, learning from that mistake or that failure or whatever it may be and and keep driving forward. Yeah. I think that's a key key takeaway. And that came yeah. with a lot of the training and that we do. You know, there's a lot of kind of uh, purposely imposed uh, breakdowns in the training. So you learn how to yes. overcome those, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I think that's something that's, again, not just particularly to special operations. I think we've, we've kind of that group we have more of that probably. Yeah. Again, I I didn't have like a, a different job in the military, so I can't really call it like talk to that specifically. Yeah. I know the military members definitely still have that, but yeah, yeah. That's one particular part that uh, or something that I took away from special operations. Um, and then critical thinking is another one. Mm. So, you know, when we're in those highly kinetic, dynamic environments on you know mission sets and even in training too, you know, we have to be able to think quickly. Our, th our feet, yeah. think outside the box, really problem solve. Uh, so we really hone that skill a lot in, in, mm. in special operations. Um, so that is something that I definitely was able to apply to 
you know, the role that I'm in now, as well as my original, you know, individual contributor role. Yeah. And then I'd say the third, third most important one uh, that I think was is particularly helpful in this environment is is communication. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, a soft skill that really was honed in the military, whether again, whether it be in training or logistics or missions, you know, to be able to effectively communicate what's happening, what I need, what I need other people to do uh, yeah. is another skill set that I learned and honed in, in special operations that I've taken with me to this new role. Good stuff. Fascinating. So you're now in the role of um, sales director, and as you kind of alluded to in the in the previous answer, you, you know, you run a team. What what, what are you looking for uh, when you when you're looking when you're hiring somebody in that high performing sales role? What kind of traits and what are you looking for? Yeah, I think you know, for for individuals I'm looking at, it's it's kind of again more just soft skills. You know, it's great mm-hmm. to have. You know, obviously depending on the role, but if it's an individual contributor role and a salesperson, you know, if they have kind of those innate soft skills, like the high internal drive, you know, I want somebody that's highly motivated. They want to succeed. They want to do well for themselves. They want to elevate themselves. Uh, That's something I definitely look look out for. And, you know, kind of sussing that out in an interview and just kind of these these uh, these formal events where you're trying to understand who the person is can be a little bit difficult. Yeah, but I think if you, you if you're able to kind of tailor your questions and and really kind of maybe lower that like formal setting down a little bit more and yeah. get them to open up, you can really get to that. Uh, so that's something that I really look for in a in a team member. Uh, and then that and with that, I think it's kind of hand in hand is the coachability. So yeah. are they malleable? Do they want to continue to learn again? Do they want to grow? Will they take uh, you know criticism? Obviously, constructive criticism. We're not trying to you know, beat them down or anything like that. But yeah. will they will they have that ability to to take it, internalize it, and then do something about it instead of feeling attacked, which yeah. is again something that I, I really look for in a um in a candidate. And then lastly, creativity. Look mm-hmm. for somebody that can again think outside the box, kind of problem solve for themselves look yeah. at problems in a different way. You know, me particularly, like, I know I'm not infallible as a leader. I know mm-hmm. that I'm going to make mistakes. I know that I might be too close to a problem and have a different perspective. Yeah. So someone with a different perspective that's a little bit more creative yeah. can, you know, even help me help the yeah. team look yeah. at the problem as a whole in a different way and, and solve that problem. So those are, I would say, the three main things that I look for uh, in, in candidates. Okay, brilliant. Good stuff. 